people, welcome to another video, car paint scratch repair. Here my wife is holding three versions of very common uh, scratch removers. We got one by New Finish, Meguiar's and Turtle Wax. And honey, if you could, with your other hand, you can put them down, <clears throat> point to the scratch that we want to fix. Now, many people would not call that a scratch. You know why? Because why? it's so thick. A lot <clears throat> of people think like, oh, a scratch is thin, it's more refined. That's kind of a bigger, let me see if I can zoom in on it. That's kind of a bigger gouge scratch mark on the front of your bumper. So part of the point is, is not all scratches are created equal. Bigger question is, is what are we going to do with the scratch? This is the point of the video. Let's get started with that. So what does Darren do? Part of this will be the kind of conversation I have with my customers in talking about the scratch itself. We have shown you the three different products that we can use. They're all essentially the same. There's not really any big difference between them. They're all going to be very effective. You can look at the links below my videos and you can always find links to my website, which will go into much more detail, believe it or not. And it will give you some options and I kind of lay out the uh, features and benefits of the different products. So honey, mm -hmm. for example, look at that scratch. Now by looking at it visually, mm -hmm. do you come to any conclusions immediately or yes. less than, like what, what conclusions, if uh, any? It's probably just transfer from the guy's bumper. Okay, that's a good conclusion and that's a starting point. So take your fingernail and drag it across the scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're kind of going with, yeah, exactly. I want you to like, I don't know, what, how, would you, how would you label that in words across the scratch versus along the scratch? Does that make sense? Yeah. So what do you feel? Can you pick up any subtleties? Like what are you feeling? What, do you, what, do you, what's, what is your fingernail sensing that might be an indicator of something? Uh, there could be some damage underneath. Okay, but do you feel that there's perhaps some transfer? As in transfer, yes. let's just clarify, transfer is whatever hit your car or material. you hit by your car, mm -hmm. that material has transferred onto your car paint. So it's essentially some other foreign material that's now sitting atop of your car paint. Therefore, it would be raised versus right. embossed into it. So that's kind of the starting point is how do we determine that? In some cases, it doesn't even matter. What I will do is I will do the fingernail test, which is what you just did, and try to determine, okay, what am I dealing with? Now, the simple answer is just reach for one or whatever of those products you want. Literally, okay. you can pick any one you want. Okay. How'd you decide on that one? Oh, I just grabbed it. Okay, so no, there was no real thought put behind it. No. So show the camera which one you chose. You chose the Meguiar Scratch X. 2.0, oh, wow, that sounds very yes. sophisticated. I wonder what the 1.0 look like. Do you even think they had a 1.0? I bet they didn't. Most likely. I, oh. You would think, yeah. right? But I don't remember ever seeing one. And then that begs to ask, are they gonna come out with a 3.0? Who knows? Okay, so put a little dollop onto a microfiber cloth. And yes, folks, that is a clean microfiber cloth. It's stained up, soiled up because it has been used repeated times, washed, but you do want to use a microfiber cloth. So put a little dollop on the microfiber cloth. Okay. Is that enough? That is, yes, that is good. So we could remove that transfer because I do think that there is some transfer as part of that scratch for a no number of reasons. We could remove the transfer and then see if there's any damage left behind and then try to remove the scratch, but we can just do both simultaneously, which is what we're gonna do right now. So take that and rub. I notice that it looks like you're having to put a fair amount of effort into it. Mm -hmm. But I also notice that that scratch, that transfer, whatever you wanna call it, is diminishing as you're working. Is that a correct and fair statement? It is. Yeah, because you're mostly covering it up, which is fine because you're working on it. But as you sweep away from it, it does reveal that it's diminishing. Yep, see, it's diminishing. Now, why don't you just stop there and now reassess. Do you think there's still more transfer or do you think that it's actually taken the paint off of your bumper and it's revealed the black plastic underneath? Um, what is your oh. assessment? Well, if it's black plastic underneath it may be damaged exactly but you don't know till you know right uh i how would i know well that's that's kind of the trick as to car paint scratch removal is they're not all created equal 
and this is where a person literally just has to go in and figure it out along the way. So this is where I would take a pair of readers and I would scrutinize the area very closely. But mm -hmm. I also know, for example, that you can continue to rub mm -hmm. because some people would say like, oh, if you rub too much, you're gonna take the clear coat off. Well, that would be very difficult to do that by hand. So I know that the damage that's there is gonna be the damage that's there. And what I mean by that is that if you continue to rub, one of two things are gonna happen because underneath that, it literally is a black bumper, as in black plastic, because that bumper is not metal. Mm -hmm. At least that part of the bumper is not metal. Yeah. It is um, a rubberized type of malleable, whatever. So if it really did damage and take off the paint, then there's nothing you're gonna do because that would require touch-up paint to touch it up. It's not a scratch that you can remove. But I see the more you work at it, the more and more it disappears. You know why? Because it's more about transfer rather than an actual scratch. It doesn't mean Yay. that there's not some damage done to that area, but if you were to stand back now at normal viewing distances, that essentially would look perfect. Is that a fair statement? Yep, yep. yay. Yay, see, look how much better that looks. So we have success. Would you call that success? <laughs> Wait, you're, it, it, it had a hard time uh, zooming in. Would you call that success? Yep, we'll give it, how about, I think you should give it two thumbs up personally. Yep, two thumbs up. So let me zoom in. There is the zoomed in version so go in real closely with your eyes and scrutinize that area and see if you can see any damage that truly is damage to the paint. It'd be really hard to tell, huh? I don't think huh? so. Yeah, yeah, I can't feel anything. At first I thought it did because of the way it felt, but... I know. Nope. This is why I say every scratch truly is unique and you just yeah. don't know what you're going to get until you're getting it. So that's a simple fix. Okay, party people, hope you've learned something. We literally have, or I literally, with the help of my wife, have taken you through the steps as to how I would not only instruct someone, but do it myself when it comes to any car paint scratch removal or repair. The operative moment is that not all scratches are created equal. They truly are unique. So in this moment, um, by me flushing out flushing out, teasing out, whatever you want to call it, out of my wife as she's working with it, she learned some things along the way, which is like, oh, I think it's this, but now that I rub it uh, more and more and more, I'm coming to some different alternate conclusions, mm -hmm. which we found that it essentially was nothing but transfer. So whether you want to call that a car paint scratch or car paint scratch, or I'm sorry, or car paint transfer removal is up to you point is is that we have success so check the links below give the video a thumbs up by all means leave us a comment and let us know if you learn something along the way with that said is hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for additional videos and to help your world become more efficient effective and safe in getting the results that you want with you and your, your car with that said we'll see you on the next video